Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Legacy Blade Blaster from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the latest in the Legacy line, if you couldn't tell by the fact that I said Legacy less than a minute ago. Um, let's just go ahead and dive right in with a quick look at the box. Um, it's pretty much your typical Legacy packaging fare. It's got that sort of classic retro style that emulates the packaging uh, from the original series to a degree. Uh, you got a promotional shot of Red Ranger down there, although it looks like super like drawn. Uh, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. I feel like I'll still get questions about where you get it from. Um, then it says the name there, logo, all that fun stuff. The same shot of the Rangers we've been getting, name and stuff. On the side, same promotional shot and whatnot. A little bit tight space. Same thing over here. Ugh. And on the back, uh, it just shows you how it works, and that same, like, they love this shot. They're like, you know what, we worked on this, we're gonna use it everywhere. Next item, don't even care if it's not related to the Red Ranger. Okay, so yeah, pretty typical stuff. It's, it's nice packaging we got going on, but really nothing to write home about at this point. All right. But here's the main attraction, which is the Blade Blaster. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really wasn't that excited for this release, mainly because We've already gotten, like, these two awesome legacy weapons. You get the Dragon Dagger and Saba, which are just, like, these iconic weapons, and they're super cool looking, and they both have something really unique about them, which is, like, playing the flute noises or Saba's talking. They're just these awesome weapons, and then this is the sidearm. So it's like feeding you a bologna sandwich after giving you, like, the world's most delicious burger. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised with how much I actually did like this thing. But still, I stand by that I think this should have released... Uh, they should have worked on this, and it should have released around the time of the Morpher and um, the original Legacy Megazord release. is like a trifecta of things before they gave us the awesome weapon, so this didn't seem so lackluster. I'm gonna adjust the camera here a sec, sorry. But yeah, I just kind of thought it, it's just after getting all that awesome stuff to then get the sidearm was kind of lame. But this does hold up to the quality of the series. As you can see, um, it's a very, very good size. It's not, you know, that typical small size since it is a collector's grade item. It feels good in your hand, maybe a little bit lighter than the other weapons, which makes sense because it is a bit of a lighter weapon. You do have die-cast pieces. All the plastic looks really good. The red shines really well. The metal shines good. The Power Ranger symbol here looks good. Overall, the word here is good. It looks just as good as the other weapons in this toy line. Um, very nice looking, very prop-like, even better than the prop in a lot of cases. So yeah, very much so holds up to the quality, look-wise, for sure. Size, look, everything. Just very well done there. Um, Sound-wise, there's a little on-off switch here, which is actually kind of nice. It's kind of hidden from everything. You get some confirmation noises. All right, so in this mode, obviously, since we're in blaster mode, you get blasting noises. Surprise, right? So when you press the button here, It'll make that blasting noise and then what sort of sounds like a connecting sound, like, you know, it's hitting something. And you can do that at varying speeds, so I can, like, do it slowly. Or you can do it faster. And it will sort of read that. You can do it up to five times. If you go beyond five presses, it'll just do five, so I'll do, like, seven. It just does five, so up to five times you can shoot blasts at varying degrees. It's kind of neat that it's not just blasting noises, it actually has the connecting sounds and that it does it at varying speeds. I mean, it's kind of basic compared to some of the sounds we're used to in some of the roleplay and morphers and stuff, but still kind of neat. Okay, so to transform it, um, you basically get to both other modes the same way. Pull this back, there's no sounds for that. There's a little button right here, and then you just pull the handle up, and... It'll make that confirmation noise. And this is its storage mode. It doesn't make any different sounds in this mode. This is just what it's like when it's in the holster. And that brings me to a point. It'll just make the same noises as you have in sword mode. So spoilers. Um, I know that this is just like a collector's item. And most people will likely just display this. Maybe pick it up a few times. Probably some kids might get it. But I'm saying like I think it should have come with a holster. Because this could be really good for like people's cosplay and stuff. And given the fact it comes with the holstered mode. And you're paying $80. This retails for $79.99 at the moment. I think it should have come with the damn holster. I mean, I think it just would have been cool. I mean, it's not the greatest collector's grade thing in the world, but it should have had a holster if you're going to give us the holstered mode. Here's the holster mode so you can hold it and do nothing. Okay, so then it does have the little dagger mode or the blade mode or whatever. Uh, there's a little button here and this will actually pop out and it'll make uh, some confirmation noises. So that's cool. And there's the blade. It's not shiny or anything. It's just made of a solid plastic, though, and it looks pretty good. And it adds to the length of it. It's kind of even, I can't even fit it all on frame in here, but also very good size, the blade and everything, and it, it makes it feel right. And then when you press the sounds here, it cycles through several different slashing noises.
And that's pretty much the it. So then you can just transform it back, just fold that down. Same button here, it'll make little mechanically noises when you press this down. Not the blasting noises, that was me. But yeah, that's all this really does. Um, like I said at the beginning, overall, this thing does hold up to the quality um, in terms of look and everything as the series. It looks great, it's a good size. Um, it, it just overall does hold up to that same feel of it when you have it in your hand and stuff like that. Um, but as I mentioned at the beginning as well, it just seems kind of lackluster afterwards. And the sounds too, the sounds are all fine. I really don't have any problems with them. This thing didn't have a voice or anything crazy, unique, or different. This was early days, guys. But given the fact that Saba and Dragon Egg are do so much, it does seem a little more lackluster, especially for pretty much the same price. I think Saba was more. He was like 100 But anyway, he might have been lowered now. I don't know. Stop arguing with yourself, Dawson. The point is, is this thing is a good quality. I was surprised by how much I liked it, but I wouldn't pay the $79.99 it's going for now. Either wait for a coupon or a sale or both, and then I can recommend it. It does hold up the quality, but for now, at the retail price, I wouldn't say it's worth it. If you're going to pay retail price for one of them, I would go for the Dragon Dagger or Saba. I think that they feel a little bit more worth it, even though you should pretty much get everything on sale, uh, or try to at least, it saves you money in general, but like if someone came to me like, I don't know why they would force me to buy something retail, or you retail, I would get one of those over this uh, at retail, but it's still uh, very much hold up to the standards of the line, it's just not quite as feature rich or unique to warrant how much it costs right now. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.